And Awatuki Man says he's a little skeptical these days when it comes to playing the Arizona lottery. He brought several quick pick tickets. That's where the computer is supposed to generate random numbers for you. So the question is, how did he wind up with two separate tickets with identical numbers? Three on your side's Gary Harper has been looking into this. This is a very weird story. <laughs> it, it really is a little unusual, but the key word here to keep in mind, you guys, is random. OK, so think about that for a minute. If you buy lottery tickets that kick out six random numbers each anyway, what are the odds that those two tickets were share, share the exact same numbers? Well, it happened to one viewer recently, but the Arizona lottery claims there's an explanation. Jamil Safdar says it's pretty common for him to drop into a convenience store and buy Arizona lottery tickets whenever he can. I play it most most of the time and I try to, you know, hope for the big jackpot. And in some cases, Jamil wins. In fact, his photo was posted on the Arizona Lottery's website when he won $2,000 back in 2019. But Jamil says he doesn't choose specific numbers when he plays. Instead, he relies on the computer system's quick picks to generate his numbers. I mostly stick with quick picks. So whatever random numbers pop right. out. And I hope, you know, usually they are supposed to be random. But on a recent purchase, Jamil says something weird happened. When buying several quick pick tickets for around 14 bucks, the machine spit out two lottery tickets with the exact same numbers. Look for yourself. The numbers on the left are identical to the ones on the right. Jamil says so much for being random. Statistically, what are the chances of something like this happening? I don't believe it could happen. But it looks like it did. So three on your side asked the Arizona Lottery for an explanation and spoke with Russ Harbin, the lottery's deputy director. It's a rare uh, issue that sometimes happens. Harbin claims there's a logical explanation for the two tickets. He says when Jamil put his money into the lottery machine and started his transaction, there was a hiccup, kind of like a glitch, that caused the machine to display an error on the screen. If the player wants to uh, continue with the purchase at that point, they're given an opportunity to do that. And at that point, it resubmits the prior ticket uh, in order to, to be able to make sure that that ticket went through. Jamil says he does remember having a little bit of trouble with the initial transaction, but does not remember anything about an error popping up on the screen. Still, lottery officials say the machine did exactly what it was supposed to have done. It was the same same information on the, the first attempt was resubmitted so that uh, the ticket would print with the same numbers on it. As for Jamil, he says he's not really satisfied with the lottery's explanation. I believe we need an in outside independent investigation into the lottery to make sure it's random. All right, well, as for the viewer, he says he's going to keep on playing uh, despite this little hiccup that they had. He says he still wants to go after what he calls the big one. Yeah. But again, a lot of your officials are saying that this is not something sinister going on behind the scenes. It was a simple glitch and they wanted to make sure that, you know, he got that second ticket because they were fearing that he may, the machine was thinking he may not have got that very first ticket. So it kicked it out again just to make sure. So that's what we're dealing with. They say there's nothing weird going on. They say it happens from time to time, but uh, it is very rare. Unexpected for sure. Yeah, yeah. I can understand why he's a little skeptical <laughs> about yeah. uh, this shouldn't have happened. Yeah, so. yep, right. Okay, Gary, thank you so much. Sure.